Hello you guys, how you doing today? Um, today I'm going to be unboxing the Water Buffalo 2 liter hydration pack. I was looking at Camelback, but Camelback is usually at like 30-40% more expensive than all the others. And this company was on Amazon's bestseller and it had over a thousand reviews. Currently out of stock on Amazon, unfortunately. Wanted one of these just because I wanted to just try to live a healthier lifestyle. Um, by being more physical so I was like 25 bucks is about 15 20 dollars cheaper than Camelback's uh, version and this one actually carries more stuff and more water so I was like how bad could this be for 25 bucks because my theory is that um, these smaller companies either want to gun for Camelback because they kind of want to prove um, what they're about so let's go ahead and try to unbox this first about a I think they have pull tabs if I'm not mistaken. No, let's just go ahead and... Knife safety, cut away from you. And please don't toss these around. Watching Peter McKinnon's video a few weeks ago made me cringe so hard that he was tossing his knife around and it landed straight in his leg. And he's bleeding everywhere like, oh no. It just opens up, and then it's just in its own separate little bag. Um, as far as I know, they only have one color. Um, water buffalo hydration, cool up to five hours. That's not bad, How, unless you're running all day, which in that case, I don't think you're spending $25 on one of these. You're probably going to invest in a more expensive one. Take that off. Right here, right out of the bag. I like the white and black color scheme. Oh, the pouch right here to put your stuff in is Velcro. This is Velcro up top. And one of these pulleys to tighten everything up. Comes with a warranty card. Everyone deserves access to safe water. That's why we've teamed up with our friends at Water Project with awareness to raise money for building in Sub-Saharan Africa. Okay, so they go to a good cause. Maybe that's good if you're if you buy certain products for that. I'm not saying I don't support it, but it's your first time hearing about it. So from what I see, there's only one pouch right here to fit all your belongings. Definitely I could fit all my personal carry items in it. Wallet, keys, phone, knife, sunglasses. Although if you're running outside, those are probably gonna be on your face. On the front right here. I like the straps, cause these because they're padded. Um, Camelbacks wasn't padded at all. And they have that breathable material. And then on either side it has the clip for your water, the water hose. Let's go ahead and open up what's in here, which is the bladder itself. And then it looks like there's a secondary pocket in here. Maybe that's for like the rest of the water or if you want to have the separate things. I don't know if, how well you can see that. Let's focus right here and crank ISO if that'll work. So obviously I'm overexposed, but in the dark here, I think you put the bladder on this one and then this one you can just put extra stuff. Just so you can see into it. Now let's go back to Regular exposure. Uh, 16, no, 20,000? No, 1,600. There we go. So, let's go ahead and open this up. So, this is no fruit, no alcohol, and don't put milk in it. And then, some Celsius, that's weird. Right here, this says, shows the temperatures. Don't put, don't put certain temperature over this. I don't know what it is. The hose feels pretty good quality. Let's see what the bite is like. Obviously, I'm not going to put it in my mouth right now. Um, I believe that you should always wash things that come straight from factories every time before you use it. So the way this activates is, let's zoom in on the bite. If uh, if it'll focus, let's. 
So on the bite right here, it's kind of spring loaded on the inside. You see that tube? So when you bite down, the way the plastic is, it pushes it downwards so the water can go and flow through. So hopefully that focuses right there. You can see it. So yeah, carries two liters. I mean, this doesn't seem the strongest, strongest I've ever felt, but definitely worth the money at the price point you're getting. And then the cap which screws open, this right here. There you go. So right now I'm gonna go wash it out by myself and go try to get everything situated. Sorry about the wire, whatever. Um, so I just filled it up, washed it out a few times. Um, I learned that to get the water, this unit, you have to twist it and then it'll extend and then, and then it enables you to drink. So also I noticed that this has two little spots where you attach it to the pack itself. So obviously it's not sitting around in there. Um, they didn't come with any directions, teach you how, but they're up here. They're like these weird little, uh, little pulley, I don't even know what to call them. But it looks like something that would be worn on like a cardigan or something, or a pullover so that you could uh, close them up. So if this takes too long, I'll just cut it. But we'll, we'll put this in and see how it goes. So I would describe that the things you're supposed to put the these through. You ever seen like a bracelet where it has a bar and then there's a circle and it goes through the circle and the bar and then obviously it holds it on the other side like this, kind of like prevents it from going through. That's my best explanation of how that is how that works. Let's let's not be weird and have the wire straight through. Whatever, we'll fix it sometime. And then. After the bladder is in the backpack, through the shoulder spots, you can route it through either side. Um, not sure what side I'm gonna route it through, but once I have everything together, I will show you guys how it looks. All right, so I have everything put together. Let me have everything put together. These hooks right here, let me show you. These are actually rotatable, so if you want it facing up, facing down, whichever way. So I have it routed, just how like they have it in the photos to be able to just come around my neck right here. Let me shoot this at 24. To come around my neck right here. And I have the sternum strap on just so it doesn't fall all the way back. Just cause it doesn't really sit perfectly. Obviously you're gonna be moving. This is personally how I have it set up. Both of my straps are faced inwards, the hook. So this one should route to underneath. Um, I am a big dude. I am six foot two, 250, 240 ish pounds. I fluctuate between that. And this thing does look pretty small on my back. Did you guys ever see uh, the first open season um, when Boog the bear has his little teddy bear with him? He has like, it looks a tiny, tiny little teddy bear on his back on his, on a, since he's a bear. <laughs> and the little Scottish uh, squirrel mentions it. That's how I feel with this thing on. But to be honest, first impressions, really comfortable. Um, doesn't feel like there's a bunch of weight on the back. And so far I really like it, the lock especially, because I've had a few camelbacks where the lock right here leaks. Um, since the, theirs is just like a bite with like a off button kind of thing, it's, it was just kind of strange. So far I like this though. Um, I will definitely be posting a review once I've used it and I will give you a brutally honest opinion on it. But so far, the way it looks, the way it feels, honestly, $25 doesn't seem like you could beat it for, for the price. Again, give you a look at it on the back. And again, I'm a pretty big dude, so this does look micro on me, but it's fine. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy your day and stay safe during these weird times. Uh, I sometimes stream on Twitch. Uh, Dr. White 619. I'll go ahead and link my channel below. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and have a good one. Hopefully I didn't already say that, but whatever. It's all good. Small channel anyways. This thing is also awesome for like editing video.
currently editing the video you guys are just watch. And I don't gotta get up and get a water bottle. <laughs> Alright, that guys have a good one.